We're going to look at how to set up your PowerPoint files for use in repeat signage. Now there's a key concept here. Normally when you use PowerPoint and you give a presentation, say like a boardroom, etc., uh, then when you're ready for the next slide, you click, um, you click the screen and it just transitions to the next slide. Now, because we're going to be using this individual signage environment, we want the transition between sides, slides to be automatic um, at a set number of seconds. And we also want it so that um, when we get to the end of the PowerPoint presentation, it automatically loops back to the start. So we're just going to have a quick look at how to do that in um, PowerPoint 2007. So for a start, I'm going to click on this round button in the corner and I'll click on New. And I'm going to do it from Install Templates. And I'm just going to select this one, which is um, one we've used um, in one of our um, samples. So I'm just going to click on Create. Now, what that's done is it's created me a number of slides which are down here. And if I just go to this icon in the corner, I'm just going to preview this. Now, going back to what I said previously, at the moment, until I click on the, neck, on the mouse button, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to stay there um, statically on screen, which is not what we want. So if I just click the the mouse button, click, click, you'll see that that's a basic presentation and I can press escape when I've finished. So the first thing we need to do is to look at how to actually um, transition automatically between slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first one, uh, I'm going to go to the animations tab and this is the key bit here, slide advance. We want this automatically after say five seconds. Uh, and then if I click on the next one, I can actually set a time as for each individual one, which is a bit time consuming. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use Control A on my keyboard to highlight all of these um, uh, PowerPoint slides. And then I'm going to put automatically after, and I'm just going to type in 00 colon 5, and automatic. So you'll see whenever I click on any of these slides now, uh, they're all set to five seconds. So that's the first half of what I wanted to do. Now the second part is to actually get the PowerPoint presentation to loop automatically. So I'm going to go to Slideshow and set up Slideshow. And this is a key thing, loop continuously until escape and OK. So I've set that exactly as I want it. I mean, obviously, uh, if you're familiar with your PowerPoint, you can, you can customize this to your, your own requirements. Uh, for example, if I click on this picture, I can, I can upload my own picture instead and you, you know, um, add my own text. But just for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it as it, as it is. Um, so if we just do a final preview on this. Now, what should happen now is every five seconds, it'll advance to the next slide. And there we go. I'm just going to press escape to come out of that. Um, just while we're here, if you do go to the animations tab and you click on the first slide, it just shows the animation effects. So you can actually scroll down this list and you can actually choose something different if you wanted to. And as soon as you put your mouse over it, it previews. So you can actually set a different transition effect for each one of these slides if you wanted to as well. Anyway, that concludes the video. It just means that whenever you've got any existing PowerPoint files, you just need to make sure that you've got um, the um, it automatically advances and you've also, going back to slideshow and slideshow setup, you've got this loop at the end. Uh, and then your PowerPoint presentation will be ready to play uh, within repeat signage.